All right, hey guys. Um, I did a little research and uh, had a little difficulty figuring out exactly how to block League of Legends on my CenturyLink router. And I've had a few of their routers in the past, and as you can see, it's all pretty much the same interface on all of them. So let's go ahead and get started. I finally figured it out and uh, just wanted to share it with you folks to save you time and energy. Um, it's really not that difficult. We're going to block a, a group of ports from coming inbound or outbound. Um, here's the list of ports that we want to block. Now, you don't want to block port 80 or 443 or 80, 88. First of all, um, 80 and 443 are HTTP, which is basically your web browsing. You see that up here? HTTPS and HTTPS so you don't want to block those so but the rest of these we're gonna go ahead and block okay so let me start by just uh, opening up notepad here Put that there for now there's our list okay as you can see we've got five or 5222 and 52.23. So I'm just going to make that one single uh, access control list line. And the way that we do this is we go into our CenturyLink router. You're going to click on Advanced Setup. Okay. On the left-hand side, there's a column of various settings that you can create. And we're going to go down to Security and then to IPv4 firewall go ahead and click on that and here's something to take notice of services checked are allowed okay so these are all the services that your router is allowing through uh, allowing packets to come through and to your computer or TV or whatever it may be but we're going to create a rule that adds those ports and then we're going to uncheck them so that they're blocked now you can do this each an individual rule for each line if you like but I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and create a rule that blocks all of them all with one rule now the first range is UDP you can see that here and the rest is TCP okay so as you can see I set the first one to UDP and the rest to TCP the first one's going to be the range of 5,000 to 50 or 5,500. Then we've got 8,393 to 8,400. Oops. Okay, then we've got 2099 by itself. So for the start and the end port, we're going to use 2099. Then for the last one, 5222 to 5223. And then I'm going to apply that. Actually, it's going to bark at me because I need to create a, a service name. And I'm using LOL blocking for League of Legends blocking. And then blocking. Okay. So I'm going to apply that. The router takes just a moment to update. And now you can see that this uh, uh, custom firewall uh, basically port blocking has been created. So now I'm going to go back to the firewall itself and take another look. And if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, I can see, here's my new rule. Okay. And both inbound and outbound are unchecked, which means don't let it through. Don't accept it. So now I'm going to click apply there. Okay. It'll take just a moment. We'll go back and just make sure it's there still. And that's really all that's to it. Then, you know, if there's anybody in your house that is uh, maybe abusing their, 
their uh, gameplay time on League of Legends and you're having a difficult time correcting that behavior, this is a great way to do it. So I hope this has been helpful. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it. Make comments if there's something else that's not working about this methodology. And we can take a look at it. Okay? Enjoy.